Well, I'm sorry to hear about Kirk. I'm very sorry. I, I personally don't believe he necessarily committed suicide. I mean, you can all believe that. He had a philosophy about life that uh, might make people believe that. Um, it is very hard to drown yourself in a tub or a sink of water. Very hard to drown yourself. Sounds more like murder to me. So, I don't know what happened. Sounds like he evidently, a couple weeks ago, got taken to a, a rehab center where people of all sorts of addictions and all sorts of criminal histories, no doubt, can end up. And, yeah, maybe he committed suicide because he was going to go back to jail or it was terrible there, or maybe it was just terrible there and he got killed because I'm not buying that explanation. And I wonder, I saw Gary's video, and I wonder, Gary, if, if the report was saying a probable homicide, um, if you would have had any of those positive things to say about at least, you know, you can't get herpes or anything else or die some other horrible way or watch other people die. Uh, he did die a horrible way, it sounds like. And uh, even with low resources, that's not, it's easier to starve yourself than drown yourself, I think. Uh, more excruciating, um, I don't know. Uh, obviously in those situations people figure out ways to hang themselves. Uh, holding your own head underwater. Sounds like Indonesian, you know, fucked up law situation, you know? and uh, maybe they don't want to have to investigate a homicide. You know, maybe he talked back to the wrong person, and now the prison rehab center did it. Or, no, I'm not buying it. Why should I buy that? I don't think so could be. I don't know. I'm just saying going from that article that uh, Forever Wolf Films linked uh, translates shitty but it doesn't sound like a suicide. The only part is that well the police say it's a suicide. Yeah they said that kid in the US snuck it, got stuck in a rolled up mat too. Who knows? Uh, anything is possible but some things seem more likely than others. That doesn't sound like a way to commit suicide to me. Drowning yourself in a small amount of water. And I would like to add to that. Um, the Indonesia and the Indonesian prison system and an Indonesian rehab, let's say a medium, you know, that's obviously not a high security, who knows, you know, but they didn't say it was prison, but it doesn't sound like he was free to not be there. Uh, an Indonesian, um, you know, and was he there the whole time? What happened two weeks ago? Did he go there two weeks ago, or was he there the whole time, but he had the freedom and something happened and lost there, or did he talk back? But anyway, what I was going to add is that the Indonesian justice system in all its parts has every reason to claim if some foreigner that's in their justice system gets murdered, which happens to the Indonesians in there regularly, evidently, and to American prisoners, of which there's, we're the leader in this, but anyway, they have every reason to want to say that's a suicide. Because right? other than that, there's this big cultural thing of one, ethnic slash racial stuff. Some Indonesian killed Kirk. Political stuff. Your justice system isn't good enough f to put UK citizens in. You need to send the UK addicts back to the UK. You know, there's all kinds of conflict and reason to just be like, oh, that's too bad. It looks like a suicide. 
don't you how naive is everybody anytime somebody in custody commits suicide you should be sui suspicional like even that guy that who cares he's dead great that died that had the kidnapped women uh, anytime someone commits suicide in custody is suspicious drowning yourself in an amount of water that does not pass my suspicion for such a circumstance as dying of suicide in an Indonesian pr prison system.